In this little video I will show you uh, the ICE in case of emergency on Android smartphones. So at the uh, lock screen uh, when you open that you will find here in the uh, key lock pin lock the ICE information on the uh, lower right corner and when you click on that you will see your uh, personal informations um, about the user, your name, address and all that stuff and also um, the information about uh, allergies, uh, medica medication and uh, uh, additional information. And further there is uh, on the uh, lower part uh, ICE, further ICE contacts uh, so you may also dial uh, from the locked app ICE contacts and, and the top part uh, as you see the user informations and medical, medical informations. So when we click on the um, ICE contact then the app automatically uh, dials uh, the, uh, the contact number and in here, in this case, it calls my uh, my home office. So you may enter there uh, uh, some uh, additional information. So when you how you to set up this information is when you go to your uh, smartphone to to the Android and there to the contacts, uh, you will find some uh, two. Uh, separate lines or contact lines in most uh, smartphones. The first one is ICE in uh, case of emergency. Uh, on the it's always uh, an empty uh, register, uh, em empty uh, contact, and that's blank. when it's um, when you open that, so when you may set up your uh, personal uh, stuff there, you have to click on there, and then you may add your user information. So that's all the stuff about yourself, uh, your name and uh, telephone contacts and all that stuff, uh, email, private email, uh, website, uh, all the stuff uh, how the how somebody may uh, contact you, and that's also about the informations when you which you will get in your. Uh, the, as a user contact on your contacts, the second line, if somebody asks you about your telephone number, then most people don't know, know that. So enter there uh, your chat ID, your uh, personal address, the, your street, uh, zip, code, uh, city, and then you also have to enable this uh, information to uh, to other apps so they may open uh, be able to open it when you uh, want to share that stuff uh, then you have to enable it to different apps to WhatsApp or uh, Outlook when you send it and share it so that's about the uh, personal information then the medical information you may, you're not able to click straight on that you have to go to the options field and in the options you will see you have to enable first uh, personal information to uh, show those uh, are enabled uh, otherwise they are not visible and uh, the me uh, medical information so this is about the allergies um, or some other uh, stuff which is uh, emergent uh, in case of inf information for you. So you may also uh, enter here some other diseases. Uh, and in the second row uh, it's the uh, medicamentation and further information. Uh, spender is and, and you know all this stuff. Just when you open this uh, in a case of emergency, uh, the rescue people may read this stuff and they may be able to help you uh, if it's necessary. Uh, save that stuff 
and as you also see there's the ICE contacts you may enter add a new contact there or take an existing one uh, in my case I entered here my uh, my home office uh, with my uh, address data there and I enabled it uh, so people may call me there if something happens and you may also select uh, an information oh. uh, further uh, information or contact from uh, existing uh, data so uh, and you see also now when we have set this stuff up there's the second line my user line uh, so that's uh, automatically uh, uh, set up uh, entered my data in this user contact so I hope I could help you in the, uh, setting up the uh, ICE contact uh, information um,